Hi guys, I wanted to do a, a video explaining um, because of a, a Eternity Shroud, uh, understanding why this item is so good. Uh, there's like some things you can do. Uh, there's a conversion chain in the, in, in the game that GGG has designed, uh, kind of a safeguard against infinite damage loops. I'm going to explain how that works. I'm going to explain um, these uh, elemental is extra chaos. I'm going to explain uh, all these extra mods, um, and then once I'm done explaining um, kind of the each specific mod and how they interact with the conversion chain, I'm going to kind of uh, talk my way through this build and and builds like this and how how they abuse that right now. Uh, this is 3.8, and Personally, I think at some point they're going to have to uh, change this somehow, but but uh, right now uh, we're getting to the end of 2019, so if you're watching this sometime in the future um, and they've nerfed it, well, you know, this is the way it used to work and it's pretty awesome. You can do a lot of chaos damage. Uh, as you can see, with Winter Orb, it's a cold base skill, and I'm doing, you know, just with one one step of conversion process, I'm more than quadrupling my my cold damage with chaos. Um, yeah, I I mean, blade vortex is a physical skill, and I I am almost five times as much chaos damage there. I'm not even using the call of brotherhoods to uh, go through the whole conversion process. Uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, so jumping into, I'm gonna explain the mods first. So as you can see here. Um, we have two different types of conversion mods. So I have as extra, and I have, uh, so here's Fizz's extra lightning, here's elemental as extra chaos. I'm going to explain the basic differences between these two mods. And there's also conversion here. So I'm going to get uh, physical damage converted to lightning, I have cold converted to fire, I have lightning converted to cold. Uh, here I have uh, Fizz's extra again. More fizz is extra, more fizz is extra, elemental is extra. Okay, so what does all this mean? So with a skill like this, uh, having basic physical damage, right? Uh, so we're dealing fizz damage with that skill. So the conversion chain, um, the best place to start is with fizz. Because um, to stop infinite damage loops, Grinding Gear has designed this uh, chains that you can convert down but not up. So if I have physical damage and I'm converting to cold with um, with uh, so so I'm getting you see how here I'm I'm taking my physical damage and I'm getting extra cold. It's not actually reducing my physical damage. It's so I still deal 100% of my physical damage, but now it's taking 25% of that fizz and it's going to add it on uh, as extra cold. So, so now I'm dealing 125% damage, 100% of my original damage being fizz, and the extra 25 is cold. So now that's 125% of my damage, um, not including the more modifier. But that's just how extra works. Um, it tacks it on. Um, whereas with conversion, it's going to take uh, my lightning damage, and it's, so now I'm going to deal 60% of my lightning damage and 40% of that is going to be cold. It's, uh, it doesn't sound awesome, but uh, it's actually a really great way of pumping up um, uh, Elia's extra mods like this, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, those conversion mods are actually useful. So uh, converting down the chain, you can go fizz to lightning, fizz to cold, um, but you cannot go, like I was talking about earlier, uh, so I would convert my fizz to cold. There's no way to convert that cold back up to fizz. Because if I was to convert my fizz to cold, and then back up to fizz from cold, uh, that would be an infinite damage loop. That fizz and cold would just keep getting converted back and forth. You know, um, and uh, Grinding Gear has de designed this chain so that there's nothing in the game, no mechanic, no item, that converts up the chain. Okay, hopefully that's clear as mud. So now, uh, to maximize uh, these extra mods, so you're tacking on extra damage, um, so I'm going to convert through the elemental chain, so from fizz to lightning to cold to fire, uh, and I'm going to take uh, chaos damage off every step of the way. So, so from fizz 
I'm going to convert as much of that as I can to lightning. And, and, and now we're starting the elemental uh, process by converting to lightning. I get as much of my fizzy's extra lightning as possible. So now I'm tacking on uh, another 30% there, another 16% there, another 20% there, etc. Pumping up my lightning damage as much as, po as possible because I want to get my lightning damage as high as I can because I have uh, elemental damage as extra chaos. So that's going to take 20% of my lightning as chaos, another 20% of my lightning as chaos, uh, another 15% of my lightning as chaos. I'm wearing 10 shaper items, so that's 50% of my lightning as chaos there. And then when I convert uh, my lightning to cold, if I was wearing two of these, 80% of my lightning gets converted to cold. Um, We've already done the chaos conversion, so all that chaos damage is tacked on at the end already. Then I convert it to cold. If I was wearing two of these, 80% of my lightning uh, gets converted to cold. And then we go through all that elemental as extra chaos again. So now, so now I have elemental damage 20%, 20%, 15%, 15%, my uh, physical damage being converted down to cold. I'm pumping up every every cold damage modifier that I have. Uh, I'm getting more cold from Hatred. I'm running Herald of Ice, so I'm getting cold damage there. Uh, yeah, and then so now, so now that step of the conversion process, I'm, I'm picking up even more chaos. Uh, and then converting down to fire. Um, ideally, this would be in my main link. I'm not doing that setup, um, but so, so now my 50% uh, of my cold gets converted down to fire. I pick up. Uh, you can see there it says 30% of cold is extra fire. So uh, I'm uh, picking up some extra there, uh, pumping up my fire damage, uh, and then you know last step of the conversion process, taking off more chaos with everything. And uh, and then yeah, um, I do actually have a little bit of fire damage as extra chaos, uh, but it's the last step of the conversion chain. Um, so once you once you've converted down to fire, um, uh, that is the last step for for these things to. So, so there's three steps down the conversion process where this elemental damage as extra chaos pulls chaos damage off of each one of those elemental steps really pumps up your uh, chaos damage. As you can see here, Winter Orb being a cold skill, I'm more than tripling, almost quadrupling uh, my cold damage as chaos, um, and that's only with one step of the conversion process. It's, it's really, really uh, lots of damage down the conversion chain, uh, as well as uh, the non-chaos as extra chaos. That lumps in the physical damage of, uh, of Blade Vortex. So that means I'm getting 4% there, 4% there, so 8% of that base physical damage being converted straight down to chaos. Um, and then this physical damage is extra chaos too, so it's actually 28%, I guess. Yeah, uh, so that is how conversion and fizz is extra, um, uh, cold is extra, um, fizz is extra lightning, things like that. Um, those mods all work together. Uh, in a build like this to uh, just create extra damage um, by by converting through this this chain um, but I mean uh, if you're not if you're not doing a build like this the the main thing to take away from this conversion chain is you can convert down but not back up and that the reason behind that is uh, to stop infinite damage loops so yeah uh, just a important fundamental thing um, in path of exile hope everybody's learned something here. Uh, if you have some information that I skipped out on or missed, uh, please post it in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Um, everybody's learned in this game. There's a lot of a uh, lot of things out there to to learn from. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for the views. Enjoy watching.